Today is January 23rd, 2015, Friday, and got a surprise for myself. Uh, I went to my mom's house and uh, 18 pounds uh, had this uh, delivered over here to Houston and uh, took the other one back to my mom's house, the core, waiting, so was waiting on the uh, re re return and stuff. And this right here is actually is the rack and pinion that comes complete with the um, both the the outer tie rods, uh, you, know, you know, and also uh, the the bar below it is actually called a stabilizer bar. And um, it's not not as expensive as I was expecting it to be, but it's a little bit. But actually, the wrecking pinion was actually was kind of surprising because, first of all, they're supposed to tell me. Um, uh, six hundred sixty dollars, a hundred dollar core charge, and then fifty dollar shipping. Well, the dealership sold me the right part number, and um, so then they were going to drop ship it from the distribution center. So when they drop ship it from the distribution center, suddenly it got superseded by a different part number, which still fit in my car. So what they do, they uh, they called me up on Martin Luther King Day and told me, well. We can't stop the shipment, but uh, you still owe an additional $189. What? Yeah, you heard right. Um, nobody, nobody changed the order. They sold me the they, they sold me the right part, and um, so they still wanted uh, the additional money to make up the difference. And I was like, well, I can do one or two things. Either stiff, I either could either stiff them on this and just tell them, nope, it's their fault. They eat the cost, and just uh, they'll make. Real hard to do business with them again, because uh, it's 20% uh, savings on dealers. Or I can just go ahead and just pay the difference and, uh, um, you know, just man up to it and say, well, that's the cost of doing business. So anyway, end result is this rack actually costs um, 850 bucks, um, and then the I still had to pay the uh, the core charge remained the same, 100 bucks, and that was 50 dollars. Uh, to get it shipped down there and then $56 to get it shipped back and uh, that's ground both ways in FedEx so um, that's the way that goes and uh, this is a surprise but um, the other part I was going to add is, is that these um, these little um, outer tie rod ends are about 37 bucks so keep in mind the original one that came the original arc opinion actually came did not come with the outer tie rod ends because they're consumables and so these things 37 bucks times two they're in down there, um, those is roughly about I guess about my math is about seventy three dollars or whatever it is, and so I was I was talking to the guy I said wait a minute, you didn't tell me that seventy three dollars somehow makes up a hundred eighty nine dollar one hundred eighty nine dollar difference in price because uh, this one the old one was six hundred sixty and this in here is eight hundred fifty bucks, he said well they have to make some kind of profit and I was like what, uh, whatever but anyway just send it. So it comes with the bolts, but it doesn't come with the um, it comes with the uh, bolts that are pressed in. These two over here are, are they fell out. I got to put them back in there, and um, they're pressed in so they don't rotate. And I got to get the nuts for it and stuff. So uh, it comes with the little um, what they call the little bellows boots. These little accordion style things right here, and everything you need. And also I need the uh, the nuts for the outside of the um, the outer tie rod ends. And so that's a wrap. And by the way, um, in case you wonder about my cat, I took him to my mom's house, trying to convert him into being a country cat. So it's just me by myself here. All right, see you later. Bye.